Hi everybody, welcome to another practical lesson for naturally speaking. I'm here to talk about some phrases spoken by native speakers so that you can learn them and be like those native speakers. Let's dive in. Number one, make the bed. Make the bed. It means to neatly arrange the sheets, blankets and bed spread on the bed. Like, please make the bed before you come down for breakfast. Number two, clear the table. Clear the table. It means to remove the dishes and other eating utensils from the table after a meal. Like, I'll clear the table and Chris will wash the dishes. Number three, to head to somewhere. To head to somewhere. It means going to a destination going to a destination like i'm heading to work or i'm heading to school number four to eat out it means to eat a meal outside of one's home as at a restaurant like we usually eat out on friday nights we usually eat out on friday nights number five to eat one's words, to eat one's words, it means to take back or to admit or regret or feel foolish about what one has previously said. Okay, like he said, it would never work. I think he has to eat his words because it's working now. Number six, to go down in his story, to go down in his story. It means that a person has done an important thing and people will not forget that in the future. Like, this amazing revolution will go down in history. This amazing revolution will go down in history. Number seven, to call something off. To call something off. It means to cancel something. Like, the meeting was called off off because of bad weather the meeting was called off because of bad weather was called off pay attention to this part of the sentence was called off is the passive voice of sentence was called off here this part is a passive voice number eight look alive look alive it's an exclamatory phrase used to urge one to go about whatever task they are working on at a higher speed, okay? Like, you'd better look alive if you're not going to miss your flight. You'd better look alive if you're not going to miss your flight. Number nine, to draw a blank. To Draw a blank. It means to be unable to remember or to find something. Okay, like I suddenly drew a blank when I wanted to say her name. I just couldn't remember it. Drew a blank. Drew is the past form of draw. I suddenly drew a blank when I wanted to say her name. I just couldn't remember it. Number 10. To go to town, to go to town, it means to do something efficiently and energetically. Like they've really gone to town on their wedding party. They've really gone, it's actually they have really gone. They've really gone or they have really gone to town on their wedding party. Number 11, to tell off, to tell off. It means to speak angrily to someone because they have done something wrong. I think it's the act of yelling or shouting at someone. Like, they told me off for stealing apples. They told me off for stealing apples. Told here is the past form of tell. Okay, number 12. Number 12, to get along, to get along, to get along, to get along with. The preposition for get along is with. 
If two or more people get along, they like each other and are friendly to each other. Like, I can't get along with my kids. I can't get along with my kids or I can't get along with my kids. I hope this video would be so useful for you in your daily speaking. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Well, thank you for learning English with me. Goodbye.